Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the five perfumes in my collection currently that I'm using the most at the moment and kind of cycling through. I have a lot of perfumes in my collection. Um, I've done a perfume collection video previously, I think it was around maybe, oh, maybe 10 months ago, but I've only added like one or two perfumes to my collection since then, so I don't think it's worth me doing an updated perfume collection. So what I'll do is I'll link my current perfume collection obviously from when I filmed that last year, down below, as I said, it's not changed that much, but I do have a lot of perfumes in my collection, I can't remember how many I have, maybe like 15, 20, something like that. I'm a perfume addict, I love fragrance, I think there's something about fragrance that is so sophisticated, it's very intimate, and I like how you can express how you're feeling on a day based around what perfume you're wearing. I like to switch it up a lot. So I think I'm going to start doing these kind of videos if you enjoy them quite regularly because then I can show you guys how I kind of rotate through my perfume collection and when you've got a bigger collection how you can kind of integrate them all into it. Um, I do switch up my perfume a lot but since we've kind of gone into the spring um, season, although it's June now and it's very hot in London so I guess we're in summer, um, I thought I would show you what I've been wearing recently and this is just kind of going to give you guys an idea of what I've been picking out and what I've been really enjoying during these kind of like summer, the start of summer months. So if you want to see what, are my, what my five most used fragrances are right now, keep watching. Okay, before I share my five that I've been wearing loads lately, I've switched things up a little bit today, so I thought I'd talk to you about what I'm wearing today. I've actually blended these two together. These are by Commodity, and they basically, I first came across Commodity last year when I was in New York, because they're all over Sephora, and they now have a UK website which you can... Um, buy from. Um, it's a shame they don't have a shop yet in the UK. I'm really really hoping that's going to come because it would be good to kind of be able to smell them first hand and like smell the whole range but they do have really good sample sets so if you're looking to get a sample set from Commodity then they have that at least available throughout the UK and Europe and America. Um, but the two that I've blended today is actually the first one is one of the most one of the perfumes I've been using loads over the past few months and it's not changed over the past month either. That's Bergamot. I really really like this because it's a really really citrusy fresh Bergamot. Bergamot usually is a very popular fragrance for me. I usually like most Bergamots. This one is really really fresh citrusy and I love it for this time of year. But today I basically blended it with Commodity Book which I think smells nearly identical to Santal 33 by Lalabo, which is one of my favourite perfumes, especially for summer. It's like animalatic, and I can never say that word, animatic, and woody. It's definitely got, I think, cedar wood in it, or cedar. I, I love it, but it's one of those fragrances that is quite unique. I think you have to be really into your woods to be able to love this one. But what I did today was I put one spritz of book on my neck and then I left it for a minute and then a minute later I sprayed bergamot over the top. The blend of these two together is nice. I'm trying to like smell it a lot so that I'm just waving my top so that it wafts up to me. It's been a little while now since I put it on this morning but... I really like these two together. I feel like the woodiness and the intensity of book mixed with, mixed with something as fresh and citrusy as bergamot works really well. I like it. It basically just smells like, like a smelly wood, which is fresh. And occasionally, depending on like where the wind blows, I smell more one more than the other. Sometimes I smell them both together. So I quite like that I've blended these two together. These perfumes are blendable, all the whole range is, and I don't know if they suggest blending these two, I can't remember, but I like these blended together. So I think I'm definitely gonna start doing this more. It's a good way to get a unique fragrance that not many people are wearing. And that's also why I like um, Commodity because you never come across people wearing them. Um, another bergamot I love is by Lalabo. That's a beautiful bergamot. I think it's a bit more sophisticated. This one I would say is more for like a day-to-day -day daytime. It's maybe a little bit more youthful than bergamot like by Lalabo. I don't know if that's the right way to explain it, but I feel like bergamot by Lalabo is very sophisticated and this is more citrusy. That's maybe how I would explain the two. Bergamot by Lalabo is less citrusy. But this has just been a continuous, like every week I'll wear this, like one, not all week, but there will always be a day or two where I'm wearing this. So first one I've been using loads is Bergamot and that's how I kind of switched up today as well with Book. The second perfume I've been wearing loads 
Oh gosh, I just love this. And this is an unusual one for me to like. My typical taste in fragrance is like woody. I like fresh, cit cit fresh citruses this time of year, but mainly like woods, spices. I like masculine fragrances. But the one I've been wearing loads lately and I've not even had this, I've had this for like a week, this bottle, and it's made a dent already. That shows how much I love this. But um, I had a sample of this and I just wore the sample co constantly. And so I decided to get the bottle, this is 100ml, and this is Diptyque's Geranium Odorata. I think that's how you say it. This is amazing. I've never really been crazy about floral fragrances or geraniums in general. I love this so much. This is from the floral range, but I feel like because it's so fresh and it is floral, but because it's very, very fresh, it's not that kind of floral that will give you a headache. I don't like florals. I think they're overly feminine. I think they're cliched and I just, I don't like them. They don't suit my personality. And I think pers um, perfume is just an extension on expression. So expressing your personality. But this one, I just, it's not something I would have normally gone for. I was got go for, I was get, given a sample of this and I'm so glad I did because I love it. I don't know how else to explain this apart from that it's floral, but it's fresh and it's sweet as well, but in the perfect way. It's not an annoying sweetness or a sickly sweetness. It's perfect and I'm so happy I got this. I think this might be my most used perfume of the summer because as you can see I have already made a dent and I've had this for a week and it's very unlike me to wear perfume every day but this week I literally just wore this apart from to today. Today I've switched it up because I felt like a change but I love this and for summer it's beautiful. If you're looking for something that is floral and fresh and sweet but perfection this is it. I think it's also unisex because it is so fresh. I think it, that kind of balances out the floral. And I also think that when it's cold out, this would still be beautiful, even though it's maybe more of a summer fragrance. So I feel like this is diverse and I'm obsessed. Next up is one that will just continuously be popping up in my rotated kind of perfumes of the time, no matter what the season is. And that is French Lover by Frederick Mal. Oh my gosh, I've got to just smell this. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's very, very woody. It's kind of like an old book, dusty kind of wood. But then, wait, does this have geranium in it as well? I can't remember now. I'm gonna put the notes on the screen for all of these perfumes. There is, I think, a floral very far back, like a back note, floral note in French Lover. But then it's got the wood that comes through first. This is also one of my most warm perfumes. Um, I got the 100ml because I loved it so much. This is kind of perfume where when you first smell it, you might not really like it, but you need to try it on the skin and then walk around with it a few times. The more you smell this, the more you love it. And as I said, it's kind of got that like dusty book wood scent to it, but I'm pretty sure there is a floral note really in the background there. I love this. I think it's marketed for men, but you guys should know me by now. I, I don't think that things should be marketed for men and women. I think it's just ridiculous. This is a unisex fragrance, as are all of the fragrances I'm talking about. So don't worry if something's meant to be for a man or for a woman. If you love it, just wear it. No one will care. Once it's on you and they think you smell great, you're good to go. So this video is going to be pretty short because these are the last two I need to talk about and they're kind of in the same family so we're going to talk about them together. They're both by Eccentric Molecule. The first one is Molecule 1. Um, I really like this. Again, it's kind of like, I think it's got woody notes to it. But Molecule 1 is one of those perfumes that I find extremely hard to explain. But it smells good on everyone. This is the kind of perfume where you could buy it for someone and they're probably going to love it. Perfume can be quite difficult to buy as gifts for people because perfume will adapt differently on everyone's skin. Once the perfume kind of integrates with your, your natural pheromones, it can change. So that's why you could smell a perfume on your friend and love it and then you try it on and it not be as good. An example for that is um, Creed's Green Irish Tweed. When my boyfriend Alan wears that perfume, I always say that is my all-time favourite fragrance because it smells heavenly on him. But when I wear it, it doesn't smell as good. It smells nice, but it's not breathtaking as it is when it's on him. So that's why I love it when he wears that perfume because if it smelled the way it did on him, on me, I would own it and I would wear it all the time. But sadly, it just doesn't smell as amazing on me. Um, but Molecule, I think, smells great on everyone. 
I have never come across a person wearing this that didn't smell amazing and I do smell this not too regularly it's not something like Chanel Mademoiselle or those really popular kind of designer fragrances where you walk down the street and you're always going to smell it on someone this is the kind of perfume where once every few months you smell it on someone and you know it's molecule one it's unique um and it smells great on everyone I don't know how else to describe it it's it's got a little bit of woody notes to it I feel like there's something sour about it but that's not a good way to explain it because I don't think you'll understand that unless you smell it and maybe that's just my interpretation of it but anyway molecule one's one smell I've been wearing it a lot lately um mainly because I don't wear it often enough and the past like month two months I've been reaching for it more just because I love this fragrance but for some reason I don't usually kind of go for it so I've been making sure to use it more and every time I do I spray it all over my jumper because the lasting power isn't great with this one on me um, it might be better on you but I spray it all over my jumper and I just love that I can then smell it on my jumper all day long um, and then again from eccentric molecule it's molecule 2 if I had to pick one of the two it's hard because they're different but I do use molecule 2 more and I actually started using molecule 2 when again my boyfriend Alan got it he used to use it as like a day fragrance for work it's it's good for work because it's not overpowering but it does last um, if someone comes close to you they're gonna smell that you smell really nice but it's not gonna kind of go out into the whole room I feel like my combination today of book and bergamot if someone was sitting like like you know where the other side of my hand is um, like on a bus or if someone was a few seats away from me on a bus they might smell it um, maybe not a few seats away but if they were sitting next to me like at a desk or public transport they would smell it whereas with molecule 2 I think they wouldn't smell it unless like wind came along and then you would smell it um but this is very citrusy it's very fresh I think it's got woody notes in as you can see from this theme I love citrus scents this time of year and I'm a big fan of woody fragrances all year long I just love woody fragrances they really really just do it for me there's something about a woody fragrance that gets me excited and this one is no different I think this is probably mainly marketed more towards men again but it's great on women I wear it all the time and again I also wear it for work when I don't want to wear a perfume that's going to be too overpowering which no one really wants to do for work so I think this is a great day-to-day -day option these are also very cheap it's 27 pounds for 30 mil so obviously you don't get much in the bottle but you can also pay like 60 pounds for 100 mil and that's good price I think that's a really good price and you know eccentric molecule is I guess niche but it's also very well known um, if you haven't heard of it I think it's not actually sold everywhere but there was like a huge craze for molecule eccentric molecule a couple years ago or a few years ago and and everyone just loved it um, and, and it's a successful perfume brand for a reason they make great perfumes and they make unique perfumes the original eccentric molecule um, eccentric one or is it molecule one uh, okay Mo molecule one which is this one here has got a scent to it it smells like um, like I said it's hard to explain kind of like a woody I think there's some floral notes there I'm not sure I, I, I can never explain how this one smells but this one's molecule one and it does have a scent to it that will smell good on everyone except eccentric one which is the first perfume that eccentric molecule did that's the brand name eccentric molecule um it does it has one molecule in it and it basically will adapt differently on everyone's pheromones so that perfume will smell different on everyone and ever since molecule kind of made these perfumes and then brought out this range they've been successful and as i said it's for good reason these are great perfumes and i think that these two are good for day-to-day -day at work um, which is why I've been reaching for them a lot lately and yeah just trying to use them up more because they're great perfumes and I really like them okay guys so that is my top five perfumes that I've been kind of rotating the most lately and using the most let me know if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up so I know if you did and I will make sure to do it again soon maybe in like two months I can do a part two of this and show you what I've been using more since this video um also don't forget to leave me a comment below with what your favorite perfume of the moment is I love getting perfume recommendations from you guys and I just think it's a great way to kind of for all of us to see what perfumes are out there so definitely leave your favorite perfume of the moment in the comments below subscribe if you haven't already I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon bye guys